if you are the tax credit guru. Well, remember what he said. I started in tax shelters where before the, the, the tax credit system, people were investing and they were getting deductions from their income tax. Now, having tax credits, that tax credit component makes it possible to give the same advantage that Canadians were getting when they were investing in Canadian films to foreigners. In other words, back when I started, a tax shelter was only really available for Canadians because they would write it off on their tax system. An American couldn't invest in Canadian or produce films. By the late mid-90s, what they realized was that, hey, I don't have to pay as much to get production here. If I offer a little bit of money to somebody to move their film here, okay, they introduced what was called the production services tax credit. So the old tax credits was what we call the content tax credit when people were producing Canadian films. So you would used to be able to deduct that off your income tax. They changed that to making it a tax credit, getting a content tax credit, provided you make certain requirements. Then they said, well, wait a minute. Maybe if we offer less than a content tax credit, we'll attract foreign film production here. So they introduced something called the production services tax credit. Now, that's the way many studios and many, let's say, mega, uh, mini studios are used to dealing. They basically engage the services of a company. Okay, They sign a production services agreement. The studio owns the copyright. The studio owns the film. All they're doing is they're engaging the company to render production services and deliver to them the film. That production service company now ends up being able to be qualified to get tax credits that are specifically tailored for a foreign film producer to come here. So why don't we talk about what some of the benefits versus detriments yeah. are of each type of tax credit, right? First, we have the Canadian content credit. And then we have something called the production services credit. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't we talk about what some of the pluses and minuses are, right? One of them is the content tax credit is higher in terms of your percentage mm -hmm. than your production services credit. But your Canadian content credit comes with a bunch of other requirements that you need to satisfy. Your film, like Sam said, needs to be, quote, Canadian as it is defined.